Welcome to another video from explainingthefuture.com. This time I'm going to talk about the future of medicine, and in particular an exciting new development called pharmacogenomics. Let's imagine that three people all get the same disease. Conventional medicine may well prescribe them all an identical drug. This may make one patient well again very quickly, improve the condition of a second patient quite slowly, but have no impact on the condition of the third patient. This situation is also quite common, with different patients often responding very differently to exactly the same medication. In theory, the extensive testing of prescription drugs should ensure that no medication actually kills a patient. But sadly, in practice, every year tens of thousands of people do die from an adverse drug response. <coughs> Pharmacogenomics seeks to improve the effectiveness and the safety of traditional drug prescriptions. It does this by selecting the drug for each patient based on their genetic profile so that treatment becomes far more personalised. In the near future, patients may therefore be genetically tested as part of the prescribing process. In turn, this would allow each patient to be treated with a drug most suited to their genetic makeup, hence improving patient outcomes and reducing the likelihood of an adverse drug response. Already, pharmacogenomics is starting to be used in real clinical situations. For example, AssureX Health now offer a simple saliva-based genetic test called GeneSight. This helps doctors to prescribe the best drugs for individuals with conditions that include depression, chronic pain and ADHD. Studies also indicate that patients who have used GeneSight to help determine their prescription are twice as likely to respond to their selected medication. As another example, the drug Herceptin, which is used to treat breast cancer, is now selectively prescribed to patients for whom a genetic test has identified an overexpression of the gene HER2. In several decades' time, we may develop genetic therapies to cure some illnesses without the use of conventional drugs. But until that occurs, pharmacogenomics offers very significant opportunities to allow conventional medications to be prescribed in a far more effective fashion. In addition, pharmacogenomics will allow drug companies to revisit their back catalogues to find medicines that were too dangerous to license for use in the general population, but which may be safely prescribed for those with a particular DNA profile. It may indeed be the case that the best treatments for many people for many conditions are not currently on the market simply because they would be lethal for those without a particular genetic makeup. Pharmacogenomics has the potential to transform how a great many traditional medicines are prescribed. In doing so, it could vastly improve patient outcomes and reduce healthcare costs. More information on a wide range of future topics can be found on explainingthefuture.com. But now that's it for another video, and I hope to talk to you again very soon.